Um, that, that hop onto the end of the uh, Milwaukee Red Stick uh, spirit level, that was just art. That was beautiful. So yeah. That's just fillers for these riders. It's just like obstacles you put into the section for them just to have to spend the time. Yeah. And Dominic is in the section and setting up for the front hook. Yeah, this has uh, caught everybody out. Nobody's got through there first time. Nope. Nobody's got through there without a point. So let's see if Dominic can do it. He had an absolutely amazing race this morning. Coming through just four points for the entire two laps. And really consistent. Same scores both laps. Oh. And that's a one, but he's up on the first try. So that could mean he has more time for the rest of the section. Yeah. And uh, with sections as long as these, you need to really uh, you know, keep moving. You don't want to risk uh, getting a silly point for at the end if you're one second late by jumping back and maybe risking a five on a section like that. So, so for those of you at home, the, the maximum amount of points you can get on a section is five. Uh, once you get to the five points, you have to leave the section. And um, three, three two points. points on that jump, yeah. And also, you get one time penalty every 10 seconds above two minutes. Yep. And that is added up to the penalty points you get from putting down feet and paddles. And uh, that's oh. not good. He only had 30 seconds left and he failed on that gap. And now he goes for the side hop. He's and, uh, normally one of the best riders in the side hop, so... Yeah, oh, straight to back wheel! Uh, he's this is unbelievable. And now he's got this last gate, he's got 18 seconds left, he'll know. And uh, if he can keep it going, I think he can get out. 13 yeah. seconds, this is asking a lot. He's going to have to fly through this. Yeah. Come Eight on, let's get him going. And he cannot... Oh. Yeah, that's two points, it should be, but I don't know what the judges... Yeah, that's five, yeah. Five points. So, after section one, we've got uh, Thomas in the lead. Yeah, in a definite lead, because all other riders got fives. Yeah. Is, are the sections too hard, maybe? What do you think, Dylan? Um, we're in the finals, aren't we? Yeah, we are in the finals, but... You know, if it, uh, if it was going to be easy, you know... Jack Carthy uh, finishing first this morning and uh, putting him in a convincing position for this afternoon. So now Dominic Oswald into the course, our winner this morning in, uh, in the run up, up to this final and uh, now sitting in second place. And this exact move he did here is the same as in the quarterfinal yesterday. Yeah. All right, so uh, now he's got this uh, big hook in front of him. And uh, as we were explaining, the amount of energy that it takes to do this. No, uh, no problem. Yeah, and uh, these guys spend a lot of time in the gym, a lot of training, getting a lot of power work. Uh, Joachim is actually a power lifter. He does a lot of power lifting moves. So uh, seriously has a lot, of, a lot of power. I know you were saying that he can uh, lift well over 100 kilos, almost 200 kilos up. So, uh, yeah, strong guys. Yeah, really strong guys. Oh, look at the control, look at that, keeping it. Yeah, that's why he, hops, he won the semi-final, yeah. because he has the power and he has the control. All right, now the big jump up onto the highest rock here. Let's see, catch it on that front wheel. Oh, yes, nicely sir. done. Yeah. So the noise you're hearing as they land, that's the brakes of the bike. And uh, what they do is they actually, some of the riders run disc brake front and back. Others would uh, run rim brakes. So Dominic opting rather for the, the rim brake. So you see his brakes on disc, it's rims. And uh, they'll grind the uh, rim. So roughen the rim up so that that brake pad can have extra bite. Um, gives no room for error. The brakes are either locked up or unlocked. You can't really drag them much, but yeah, amazingly powerful brakes. And uh, yeah, they, they keep it quite, uh, even in the water though, it doesn't, it's not as strong as, uh, as if it were dry, but very, very powerful. It seems like we have a good community going on. And Dominic is in the section. Now that uh, difficult hook that caught uh, Thomas out, um, 
I think the riders have underestimated that. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I don't think they. Uh, you know, I just don't think they've uh, they thought hard enough about that because uh, I would have thought uh, Thomas would really have that one easily, Joachim, and uh, neither of them got up there easy. So as you can see, it's uh, not an easy one. And let's see uh, if uh, Dominic learnt anything by watching uh, Thomas and Joachim. Let's see if he can get up here. Uh, a lot of power. Look at Finds the power. And oh, first try. Nice. This is kind of the perfect section for Dominic because he is like the hybrid between power and control. So he can use all his strong sides. Yeah, look at that. Just look at the control standing on that rock. Yeah, and he tried to rest. Doing sections like this with a lot of rear wheel hopping, hopping you get this arm pump very easily. And with an arm pump, it's hard to coordinate the moves yeah. and, yeah. And uh, those of you that don't do the sport of trials, but uh, yet ride a bicycle, to understand what arm pump is, is uh, the blood that runs through to your arms, kind of your arms start to swell, and then your hands start to go numb. And yeah. it's really difficult to pull the brakes. Look at that, zero points. 26 seconds left, yeah. Easy for Dominic. Perfect execution. I mean, he's, he was good in that section this morning. He's uh, good again now. And uh, two sections left. So uh, the uh, lotto section, section number three. People asking why why Thomas got a five is that he broke an arrow. So an arrow fell down from the rock. And any modification of the section, if that is tearing the tape, removing an arrow, arrow falling down, that's a five. So yeah. you have to leave the section. Now, this one, uh, this section is important for Dominic because this is where he can come back. Mm. Uh, this is his opportunity to make up for his five in section one. If he gets out here with a zero, it uh, puts him in a very, very good uh, position. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's He's easy. getting better as we go into this final. And Dominic is really good going up to front. And I guess he will maybe try it here, go front to back as Thomas did. Yeah. Or does he feel his power is enough for rear wheel? No, two wheels. Nicely done. Yeah, no problems. Oh, look at that. You can see the tape there. They've got to be very careful of that. And uh, you've got to be careful on that surface. As you can see, the riders. Look how slippery it is. You can see really being very, very, very careful where he puts the wheel, making sure it's on like a, a kind of a, a more solid piece because uh, that gravel will just give way if you land too hard on it. And is the clouds breaking up and we can maybe see some sun? It looks like it's getting better. And he has the precision and he's still on the clean. Still and zero points. What a ride here in uh, the fourth section, the Volkswagen commercial vehicle section. Seriously good down there from the uh, German rider, Dominik Oswald. And he's okay. going to try to run up the same as yeah. Montalvo did. He's still got 44 okay. seconds left, so he's got time on his side. But he does have that uphill hook that uh, has been a challenge for everybody. Yeah, and oh, no. yes! No. Oh, no, I thought he was on. And people noticing that Dominic might be riding wider bars, wider handlebars than the other riders, and I think that's correct. He, yeah. he rides them uncut, but many other riders, they cut their handlebars. No, that's a one point. They cut their handlebars down to maybe even 64 or 65 centimeters from the original 720, yeah. 74 centimeters. Yeah. What, uh, the, the reason for that is so that they can get closer to the rocks when you yeah, jump? Also, it's about uh, the position on the bike that some riders, they prefer the narrower grip. Yeah, gives them more control and yeah. Obviously, it also gives you more length in your arms when you have a more narrow grip. And look easily at that. Hooks up. Easily does that. But he, he gets time? time penalties at this moment. He's out of time. And he's on four points and out. 
And that was four points. He's out on four. It's better than a five. Yeah? It's better than a five, same as uh, Montalvo. But uh, a lot of effort for uh, for one point. There's a lot of effort, and there, there is still one section left. Yeah, Dominic is on nine points now. Very happy with that. And Flies up the first obstacle, which must have been one of the largest trees in Belgium when it was alive. <laughs> and now the sun is shining. Can you believe it? And that is awesome for the women's and men elite 26 finals. Okay, so he's got the hook. He's, yeah. Look at that, he's got Perfect a good landing. position. Yeah. Nice, he goes solid to the honest. right to get, give room to his pedal and his toes. The guy is hanging off that. Yeah. Oh, no, no, oh, and it's a five. And that means that Montalvo won the World Cup. <laughs> Can Montalvo you wins. believe it? Montalvo wins. Yeah. Dominic in second and Thomas in third. Yeah. Can you believe it? Yeah. Let me just confirm That's this. That's obviously uh, not the final result. No. That's uh, just from what we're seeing in the booth here, but... Uh, yeah, but Montalvo had 13 points and Packacker 15 and Dominic 14. So Montalvo wins. And I think he's happy. He so we're here with the podium of the uh, men's 20 inch. And uh, what a race it was this morning. So uh, we've got in third place, we've got Thomas Pechaker. And then second place, Dominic Oswald. From Germany. From Germany, yep. The winner of today of this World Cup.